Arabic diacritics. At the shkiel. At the shkiel. Diacritics in Arabic are marks that accompany consonants. Al al Arabiya. In acquiring Arabic, it is exceedingly essential that articulation rules, namely diacritics, be known from the outset. This video is about role of diacritics. In most world languages, vowels play a key role in pronunciation. Take English as a typical example. The difference in pronunciation between them and theme, hug, and huge, and so forth is triggered by a vowel. In Arabic the source of difference in meaning is Arabic diacritics or vowels such as alam which means flag alam ilmun which means science ilmun let's look at the first one in this lesson fatha fatha if a letter has fatha vowel on top it it means the vowel comes after that letter. The fatha is a small diagonal line placed above a letter and represents a short a. The word fatha itself means opening and refers to the opening of the mouth when any letter with this mark, e.g., kataba. Kataba means wrote. Here are more examples about fatha vowel, such as the rasa, the ra. S means studied. Zara. Z ra a means planted. The second one is kasra vowel. Kasra. Kasra. If a letter has kasra vowel underneath it, it means the vowel comes after that letter. The kasra is a small diagonal line placed below a letter and refers a short i. The word kasra literally means breaking. E.g. Means feathers. For an illustration, if we add the kasra marks to the letter in the middle of the word, here is how it will be pronounced. Such as means laughed. Samia. Sa me a Samia means heard. The third one is Dhamma vowel. Bomma. Bomma. If a letter has Dhamma vowel on top it, it means the vowel comes after that letter. The Dhamma is a small curl like diacritic placed above a letter to represent a short O. E.g. Kutub. Kutub. Kutub means books. There are many examples about Dhamma vowel, look at the Dhamma vowel in these words. Such as Luhum Lu Hu Wu Ma Luhum means meats. Wuju Wu Ju Wu Wuju means faces. Now let's read the Arabic letters with al harakat or as we say short vowel e i u b b i b u t t i t u f f i t u j j i j u Ha, hi, hu. Ha, hi, hu. Da, di, du. The, the, du. Ra, ri, ru. Za, zi, zu. Sa, si, su. Sh, shi, shu. 
ص ص ص ض ض ض ط ط ط ظ ظ ظ ف ف ف ق ق ق ك ك ق ل ل ل م م م ن ن ن ه ه ه و و و ي ي ي تنوين تنوين the three short vowels فاتحة كسرة دامع may be doubled these can be called تنوين 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 the three vowel diacritics may be doubled at the end of the word to indicate that the vowel is followed by the consonant n these are known as tanween or nonation this arabic diacritic mark pronounced as tanween bil fath tanween bil fath let's look at these examples such as sama'an sa ma'an سماءً mean sky قصة قي س ت قصة means story بيت ب ي ت بيت means home حديقة ح د ي ق ت حديقة means garden madrasatan mat ra satan madrasatan means school this arabic diacritic mark pronounced as tanween bilkas tanween bilkas let's look at these examples such as bina an B N N B N N means building. Qasrin 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 means palace. Nabatin N B T N Nabatin means plant. Rakabatin R K ب ت رقبة means neck سيف 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 means sword this Arabic diacritic mark pronounced as تنوين بالضم تنوين بالضم Let's look at these examples. Such as Qamarun 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 means moon. Aqlun 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 means mind. Shajarun Shajarun means trees kawkabun kaw ka bun kawkabun means planet shari'un 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 means street sukun sukun is a circle shaped diacritic placed above a letter sukun sukun Sukun. The sukun is very different simply because it is the only one that is unvoiced. It simply means there is no sound on that consonant, 
Sukun in Arabic is basically a small circle above the consonant. Sukun literally means stillness and silence, which is what it does to a sound anyway. Such as Bahr 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 means C. The letter which has Sukun, it is pronounced with the letter before it. Let's look at these examples. Such as Salt So Te Salt means sound. Harb Har Ba Harb means war. Habl 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 means rope. Khubz Khub Z Khubz means bread. Shadda Shadda It means the doubling of a consonant. Instead of writing the same consonant twice, it is written only once. And placing the shadda over it indicates that it is comprised of two consonants. Shadda Shadda The shadda simply indicates stress on the letter and usually it comes with haraka. The shadda is written as a small w shape above the letter. The first consonant has a sukun on it, and the second one is followed by a vowel. If the second letter is followed by a short vowel, the mark for that vowel is written directly above or below the shadda. So the kasra should be written immediately below the shadda, not below the letter. Here are more examples about shadow with short vowel. So let's start. Sukka. 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 Means sugar. Mualim. 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 Means teacher. Tabachur. 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 Means evaporation. Shadow with tanween. The tanween marks is written on top or below the shadow. Here are some examples about shadow with tanween. So let's start. Fennan. 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 Means an art. Listen. 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 Means thief. Sirun. 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 Means secret. 